All right, guys. Let's talk about one of my favorite techniques: the left hook. Uh, this this is pretty very effective, uh, very powerful technique. It's up front; doesn't have to uh, a lot of distance to travel. It's not a long range weapon. It's up close. It can become a long range weapon if you hop into it, but it's great because you're here, and then it comes around. If you can make your opponent cover his face all day long, left hook, and it sets up just about everything. Um, so let's talk about it. When we throw a left hook. The, the arm movement is, is not here, it's here. This is all my arm's doing, just like that. That's not much distance travel, you know, it, it's a small, small movement. Now, when I put my hips, I turn my shoulders, and I took my, my shoulders and my hips into it, the hand will travel far. So that's where the movement's coming from, and a lot of the power. I'm here, here. Notice my thumbs up. If uh, we start throwing our, our hooks like this, if I hit shallow, you break your small knuckles. If I go too far and sparring, my thumb will come around and break my thumb or dislocate my thumb. And if you watch Mike Tyson videos, his thumb's up, and I think he's pretty much set the precedent for a left hook. All right, so basically, another little tip, elbow high. Just like on our jab, how we roll our shoulder, our elbow high is gonna protect our, our chin, here like this. So it looks kind of robot-y, but believe me, when you throw it and you're exchanging, it makes a big difference whether you get hit in the face or not. All right, so here we rotate and our elbow comes up. Boom, back to our jaw, here. Again, here, back to our jaw. Now I'm gonna throw a few live speed here. Small distance travel, a lot of power. Big setup tool. You can master the left hook, even if you have a crappy right, it'll probably land. 